Hi everyone, uh, Kate Bathy speaking to you from Sick Kids Pocus Group. Today I thought I would talk about how to incorporate ultrasound into your clinical workflow. So I found when I started introducing ultrasound into my clinical workflow that I at times had challenges. When I was still learning to do some of the scans, they would take me a little bit longer than they might now that I'm more experienced in them. and maybe not as fruitful in terms of actually changing my clinical management because I wasn't using them when you're first learning to do scans from a clinical manner. I was using them more in an educational way. So until you're ready to actually use them from a clinical standpoint, when you feel comfortable and everything is ready at your institution for that to happen, there are things that you can do to make yourself a better scanner and to make your POCUS useful to you for then and for the future. One thing that you can do is if you have pathology, you can actually go and scan that and then you know what your pathology is going to look like. So for example, if you had an appendicitis, they've, you've confirmed this with ultrasound, then you can go look and only take two or three minutes to actually try and find it yourself so it doesn't get in the way of your workflow. So scanning pathology from that you already know is there definitely is a helpful learning tool. Other things I did was to start, once I was ready to use it clinically, was making a bar for myself. So saying, I'm gonna do two scans a shift, or I'm gonna do three scans a shift, and then increasing that until I could use it however I needed it. And that way, at least I gave myself a bar of how many people I'm gonna see, and I was able to actually use it and improve my workflow without feeling that it was getting in the way. In the end, after that, I do think that it is making my workflow a lot faster because I can bring the machine to the bedside, I can actually see what I'm looking for. I don't necessarily need to send them for certain tests, so I might not have to confirm an x-ray by ultrasound if I'm comfortable that I've seen it by ultrasound and my institution is happy with that, which they are here. So some of the other things that you can do to make the ultrasound flow work for you is to actually have the machine ready. Bring it with you when you read the note and you know this is going to be something that I want X scan for, so appendicitis, interception, whatever it may be, bring the machine with you. Then you don't have to go back and look for the machine and take that extra time and that extra step to get there. The other thing you can do is if you have trainees, you can have them set up the machine for you, have the information put in that all you need to do is come and scan or they can scan for you, and then you can actually take a look at the scans after and see if you agree or not. So those are some of the tips I have found to make me a better scanner, to make it work within my workflow, especially when I was just learning how to do it initially. Now I feel comfortable that I can see my patients, I can scan my patients, and I can fit it in clinically and educationally where it needs to be. Thanks very much. Follow me on Twitter at Katie.